Welcome to our whistle stop tour of the life of a fox. When a fox is born, it's small, blind, and covered in fur. Kind of like a human baby, but with a bonus tail and a bit more fuzz. In the wild, there are no nannies or babysitters, so Mama Fox has to do all the work. She feeds them, keeps them warm, and even has to do all the cleaning up. Talk about a full time job. And let's not forget, she's doing all of this in a den. Can you imagine? No running water, no electricity, no Netflix, just a dark and cozy den, a bunch of hungry cubs, and a whole lot of love. So, our little fox has been born, he's blind, he's furry, and he doesn't have a babysitter. But don't worry, mom's got it all under control. Remember that stage when you were a teenager and you wanted to explore everything? Well, foxes have that too, but with more digging and less angst. It's like a teenage rebellion, but instead of slamming doors, foxes are out there digging holes and making dens. And just like human teenagers, adolescent foxes start to explore their surroundings. They're the adventurers, the explorers, the daredevils of the animal kingdom. They learn to hunt, testing their skills on unsuspecting insects and small critters. It's their version of cooking class, except the ingredients are furry, and the recipes are instinctive. Interacting with their siblings is also a big part of their life. Imagine the sibling rivalries, but instead of fighting over the remote control, it's over the last juicy mouse. So, our fox has survived his teenage years, learned how to hunt, and managed to avoid being grounded. Ever wondered what a fox does all day? Well, it's not all napping and snacking. Okay, maybe it's a little bit of napping and snacking. As the sun rises, our fox friend embarks on a new day. Picture this. The morning starts with a quick jog. Well, more like a hunt. It's like their version of a pre-workout smoothie, a refreshing mouthful of mouse or rabbit. Then on to the daily grind, which for a fox means marking territory. It's like sending emails. You've got to let everyone know you're still around, still important. As the day wanes, it's time for some romance. Fox dating is a bit like speed dating, but with more fur. And just like in the human world, it's not always smooth sailing. There's competition, drama, and a lot of running around. So, our fox has navigated adulthood, marked a bunch of territory, and maybe even found a mate. Sounds like a productive day to me. You know you're getting old when your tail starts to go gray. Well, for foxes, it's when their fur starts to thin. Ah, the golden years of a fox's life. This is when things start to slow down a bit. Their once sharp senses may dull, their swift and nimble moves might become a tad sluggish, but these foxes are still savvy survivors. Just like humans, they learn a thing or two over the years. They've perfected the art of survival, and they know exactly where to find the juiciest berries and the crunchiest bugs. It's like they're retiring, but instead of a pension, they've got a lifetime of wisdom. Perhaps they spend their evenings playing fox bingo, or maybe they prefer to relax, reminiscing about their youthful escapades. Either way, these foxes are living their best lives in their twilight years. And there you have it. The life of a fox from birth to golden years. It's been a wild ride. But remember, it's not about the destination, it's about the journey and the terrible whispering.